understand before being understood. So the key here is you want to listen closely and deeply as if you've been waiting all week just to have this conversation. So you're super engaged, you're super focused, but the most important thing is you're not focused on what you're trying to say. You're stepping back and you're listening intently, closely, and deeply. You want to understand them before you come across with any of your points and you try to be understood. The old saying is, you can't learn from talking, you learn from listening. So whatever the context is, this could be a conversation with a significant other, with a child, with a coworker. If you're just talking, you're not really communicating because you wanna find out what it is that their issue is. You wanna find out where they're coming from, then you can articulate a response. Remember one of the things that we talked about yesterday, if you let that person speak first, it's like the art of negotiation, they've already let you know their position. So rather than you just forcing your position on them, listen first, okay? Listen closely, intensely, and deeply. Number two, this is a huge hack in communication, mirroring. What is mirroring? Well, if you and I are talking and I'm using my hands to talk, you use your hands to talk. If I have my arms crossed, you cross your arms. What does that do? There's something about human psychology where we're doing something similar that someone is gonna feel instantaneously more comfortable. Also, what you wanna do to that end Lean in, shake your head, yes, you're validating them. You'll notice that they will start mirroring you in the conversation. This is really powerful because at that point, you've now taken control of the conversation. But remember, it all started because you were listening first. Point number three, ask open-ended, clarifying questions. So when someone's talking about a subject matter, you wanna confirm what you've heard and then go deeper. Say, oh my gosh, and then what did you do? How did that make you feel? That's the type of stuff that's showing that you wanna understand before being understood, but that you're genuinely interested in this conversation and you're trying to understand them. Another huge hack, especially when you think about communication in the context of networking, take notes afterwards. Take notes afterwards, yes. After you have the conversation, take detailed notes going through all the different points that that person made because guess what? You're gonna be able to use those points in your future conversations and your future interactions with them. This happens to me all the time. What I do is I find out about them. Case in point, there was one gentleman, he was talking to me about his daughters. His daughters like to play lacrosse. What I did, next time I talked to him, I said, how are the girls? How's lacrosse going? Well, he opened up, he was so happy. Wow, Ken really listened to me. Once he finished talking, he said, what's going on in your life? What's the latest and greatest? People are like, I don't know how I can reach back out to this person. I don't have an excuse to reconnect with this person. Well, guess what? If you took some copious notes, now you can go through those notes and see something. They like this sport, these types of cars, interests, likes, dislikes, whatever it is. Those are connection points and they're so incredibly valuable. You have to take advantage of this. To conclude for today, understand before being understood. You wanna listen closely and deeply as if you've been waiting all week to have this conversation. The three points that you have to remember, number one, listen first. You can't learn from talking, you learn from listening. Number two, mirroring. You wanna mirror their actions, mirror their body language, and that is going to help them open up. They're gonna feel more comfortable and then they will start to mirror you. Number three, ask open-ended clarifying questions. This will help you confirm what you heard and then take notes afterwards. Those will be those triggers for future interactions and that'll give you an excuse to reach out and reconnect in the future. I hope you guys found this super valuable. I'm super stoked to see you guys tomorrow when we cover the art of appreciation. Have a good one.